in this first video of the Malaysia series I'm making my way to Kampung Baru which is kind of in the heart of Kuala Lumpur and it's called the new village uh, I'll have some delicious breakfast there then I'm making my way to the Salomas bridge which is a recently built bridge that connects Kampung Baru with the Petronas towers and of course after that we're making our way to the Petronas towers explore the KLCC park a little bit to then make my way back to Kampung Baru to have some delicious fruit juice and uh, yeah that will be it follow along Good morning, or should I say Salamat Pogi, because I am in Malaysia right now, in Kuala Lumpur, in the urban jungle of Kuala Lumpur. Uh, and uh, the goal of this video is to have a, basically a first impression of Kuala Lumpur, of Malaysia in general, because I arrived last night, I didn't go out on the streets yet, uh, so this will be like really my first impressions, I've never been here. Uh, and yeah, the goal is like we're going to make our way to Kampung Baru, which is like a village inside the major modern city of Kuala Lumpur. It's like a village between the skyscrapers and uh, eventually we'll make our way to the Petronas Towers. You can see them right there. That's where we'll, we will make our way there. Uh, there's also a beautiful park there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the goal. Uh, it's also early morning, so I'll find some food, some breakfast. I didn't even have coffee yet. It's really early morning. Uh, I feel like the city is still getting, becoming alive because a lot of places are still closed and everything. So it might be a bit challenged to find something, but I'll, 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 I'll manage. And also, you can see there are so many flags around here, like Malaysian flags. I'm not really sure about the meaning and everything, but I think it's a beautiful flag. The color combination and everything is nice. Also, um, you have the Muslim sign there, uh, because obviously Malaysia is a majority Muslim country. So yeah, that's the only thing I know about the flag. But for the rest, we'll make our way to Kampung Baru and uh, do some random exploring because that's what we do best here. So yeah, another view here of the Petronas Towers. It's amazing, it's amazing. Wow, yeah. So right at the edge of Kampung Baru, we have Mashit Jamek. KG Baru Kuala Lumpur, very beautiful mosque here. You can see the minaret here. When you're in a new country, it's always a bit tricky to know if uh, people really follow the rules, the traffic rules, uh, because it's red for the pedestrians. Uh, in a lot of countries, nobody cares about that, but here I'm not sure, you know. <laughs> so I need to wait it out a bit, see what other people do, uh, see if they obey the rules or not. So I'll, for now I'll just obey the rules, but if I see other people crossing the street uh, when it's red, I, I will do the same, you know. I mean, I don't want to look like a, a stupid tourist and wait here for like, like 10 minutes before crossing the street. That would be a bit ridiculous. So yeah, for now I'm following the rules. It's still red. And we have made it to Kampung Baru. This is a gate here. It's really beautiful. It's huge as well. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, so we are in, of, now we are officially in Kampung Baru. And you can see already, like, we are surrounded by skyscrapers, but Kampung Baru is actually like a village, they call it the new village. Um, so it's a village inside the modern Kuala Lumpur, I would say. Oh, wow, look at this here on the floor. The, I guess there are lilies or something, but it's beautiful, beautiful. I do notice there's a lot of traffic in the street. Not sure why. And look at this guys. Look at that. Drive through VIP. What does that mean? A McDonald's drive through VIP. <laughs> Is it like he can skip the queue and <laughs> I never saw that sticker. It's very funny, very funny. Okay, but uh, we continue um, exploring uh, Kampung Baru. It's pretty lively here actually. I think this is a well-known place for food, honestly. That's the, that's the reason there's so much traffic, that's so busy here. Because in other parts where I just was just walking, it was really not busy. So let's see uh, what we can find also here. Wow, this is a beautiful house actually. Look at this. Is it um... Oh, I'm not sure. Hi. Uh, what, is the, what is this place? I'm living here. Oh, you live here? Yeah. Oh, and you can visit? Uh, only outside. Oh, only outside. Oh, okay. And I pay entrance? Entrance? No, no. Oh, okay. What is this then? The one for parking. Oh, for parking. Oh, you live here? Yes. Wow. How old is your house? Uh, more than 75 years. 75 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. So when you came here, there were no skyscrapers? 
<laughs> the, the, when the, you, you were de here for a long time already? Yes. How long have you been living here? Uh, since I did birth. Oh, I birth wow. Here. Born, here. Ah, born here. Sorry, what? I was born here. Born here, born ah. here. I, I, I'm not going to ask your age, it's not polite. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I look? Almost yeah. 70. 70? Almost. Oh, so you were born here and the house was like built recently? Yes. Oh, okay. Can I have a look around? Yes, of Okay, course. thank you. What's your name? Calso. Tal Calso. 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 I'm Tim. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I thought maybe it was like a museum or something, but she lives here, this lady. And she's just charging for the parking, but you can look around, she said. Um, and that's one of my first Malaysian words actually that I learned Keluar is exit or way out or something Yeah, I just know that from the airport. <laughs> that's all But wow, look at this. It's really beautiful Wow, yeah, it's really nice because she came here 75 years ago and there I'm pretty sure these buildings around here were not there yet Well, she came here 70 years ago, but yeah, she came here 70 years ago and the house was built 75 years ago and I'm entirely sure there were no skyscrapers around then so this was probably just a normal house in the village but now it's like a, a masterpiece that is still left a leftover of the history i guess but wow look at this it's completely made out of wood i guess the structure the, the structure below is concrete but all the on top of it is all wood i'll just walk around a bit i don't want to be an intruder but she said i can look around only outside so yeah they have ac I mean, yeah, that's kind of necessary. It's not super hot here, by the way. But wow. That's beautiful. It's also well maintained. I mean, pretty good maintained also. Let's see from the other side. Yeah, you see like you have this house and then you have like super modern buildings in the background. The contrast, the contrast here also. Wow. Yeah, that's the point of Kampung Baru. I think it's like a village that they maintained um, because I guess all the other buildings uh, were destroyed to build modern skyscrapers, but this one they maintained, maybe because it's so beautiful, not sure. But it's, not, it's a nice building and a, a lovely lady as well. Okay, let's, let's continue exploring. Yeah, what, what is the name of this? Uh, this is roti, nothing, this is egg. This is egg and uh, egg and roti. Nothing. This is just roti, this is egg and roti. What's the, the best seller here? Roti kanai is it, no? Uh, what is that one actually? Which one? Sardine. Sardine fish. Sardin, fish, fish. Ah, oh, sardine, sardine. Oh, can I have one of these please? How, mu how much is that? Three ringgit. Three ringgit, okay. So that's... Roti, telur, I, I don't know which one it is, but one of these. That was, the other one was the sardine. Ah, she sold me on it, she sold me. I saw this and I thought like, this looks like a good breakfast. <laughs> Can I see how you make it? Wait, wait, wait. Number one. Number one? Number one, oh. number one from where? From yeah. Kuala Lumpur or Malaysia? Fish. Yeah? Of course. Oh, look how he's flipping it. What are you making now? Roti, which one? <laughs> yeah, roti telo. Roti telo. Ah, oh, that's the one for me. Roti telo. Ah, so there's an egg there. So yes. How many eggs? One egg. One egg. One egg. First roti, one egg. Okay, alright. Then you fold it. Ah, one egg. Ah, then they fry it. Oh, okay. This is the roti telo. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Where are you from? Belgium. Yeah. Your country here? Yeah. Malaysia? No? I'm Where? From Indonesia. Indonesia? Okay, okay, okay. Friendship Indonesia. Friendship. You're also from Indonesia? Indonesia. Ah. Is specialty from Malaysia or from where is this? Malaysia food. Malaysia food, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. No more Good. No more satu. No more satu? Ah, number one. Number one? Malaysia. <laughs> ah. number satu. How many pieces a day do you make, do you know? How many a day? How many every day? No, 
Don't take one. Care of uh, just one, just one. And uh, do you have like a tea or something? Chai or uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they call it here, the tea, honestly. I'll see. Yeah. Uh, where and, you want Indian? Uh, I will eat here, I will eat here. Uh, what do you want to drink? Uh, what do you have? Uh, best orange, coffee, tea. Uh, uh, what, does, what do most people drink here? Tea or coffee? Tea. Tea, I'll have a tea. Is that the tea there? That one? Uh -uh. one? Like that? Yeah, that's the... Ah, uh, no, the other one, the other one. Yeah, this one, this one. <laughs> I, I don't know what kind of tea it is. I think it's with like a kind of masala chai. It's with spices. What kind of tea is that? It's tea with uh, with spices inside. Uh, spices, uh, sambal, ah, that's curry. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Curry, curry, curry chicken. Curry chicken. You mix. Curry you mix this. Curry chicken. You, okay. Okay. Not sure what I'm getting, but it, I'm, I'm sure it will be good because it smells really good here. Sorry. Ah, payment is there. Or pay. I pay you. Uh, okay. Ah, you're gonna. Ah, I pay you first or pay later. I'll pay later. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's really hot. And the tea will... the tea? Uh -uh. Tea? Okay, I'll, I'll find a spot here. It's a bit tricky here. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not used to vlogging anymore, guys. It's a bit tricky, it's a bit tricky. Let's see if I can find a spot here. I think there's a spot here. I'll just sit here. So we have some kind of sauce. I don't know if it's just a chicken curry. And then we have the roti. Can I... This is... Sorry, sir. Oh, okay, here we go. This is the chai, or the tea, the tea. I'm not going, going to call it chai here. It's like a milk tea. Oh, it, uh, it's like a thick tea. I think they had some butter or something in it. You can see it here on the bottom. Okay, my first uh, Malaysian meal. Well, actually, I, last night I had some shawarma. I don't know if you can call that Malaysian, but this is my first meal outside because I did grab last night. I was just too lazy to get out. So I'm going to give this a try. The roti kanai. I heard about this. I heard about this, but I never tried it. Let's see, let's see. It's one-handed eating is always a bit tricky. Oh, it smells like a pancake, actually. Ooh, it smells a bit sweet. Okay, how am I, how am I going to do this? Wait. I will set up my camera here. <coughs> like this. That will be easier for me. Okay, first piece. It smells sweet, smells like a pancake, and um, there's omelette inside. So I'll, I think I'll just dip it in the sauce here. Not really sure if that's how I'm supposed to eat it, but. Mm. Oh wow, the sauce is also sweet. I was expecting very spicy, but it's not. It's okay. Ooh. It's really good. Not really sure what this is actually. It's a potato. So they put one little potato in the middle. Let's try the tea as well. Milk tea. Very, very sweet milk tea. <laughs> It was very delicious. Thanks. Very good, very good. Because uh, thank you very much. Thank you. I got some money out for the magician here. Because uh, he was entertaining me during my breakfast. I'll, I'll give him some money. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Yeah, so I counted the money that she returned me and it was 95. Well, I gave five to that guy. So 90, which I means I paid five ringgit, which is what? One? 
No, that's not. That doesn't make sense. Five ringgit is one, one euro, one dollar. Wow, I pay one dollar for my breakfast. That's insane. I think I need to do the calculation. I'll put it here on the screen, but I think I pay one dollar for that whole breakfast. Hi, hi. Yeah, sorry to photobomb. <laughs> I'm photobombing these guys here. Oh, so a one dollar breakfast here in uh, Kuala Lumpur. And it was super delicious. It was very sweet. I didn't expect that because the, sh the tea was super sweet with a lot of sugar. Then um, the, the pancake, it was basically a pancake, super sweet. And then the sauce as well, the gravy was also super sweet. So it was like a whole sweet thing, but that's not bad for me because I really love sweet stuff. So <laughs> it's all good. But I do feel like I still need a coffee though because I'm kind of a coffee addict and uh, I didn't have a proper coffee yet. I just had my chai here, so my tea, my tea. I should stop saying chai. I'll, I'll figure out a coffee later. There are lots of street musicians here as well, which is nice. Yeah, I just figured out it was actually Saturday and I thought that's the reason there are so many people here, but she said it's always like that. So yeah, it's not only on Saturdays. But it's definitely a food food spot here. Um, and let's see what the next destination is. I'm not sure yet. I'm just randomly exploring like I usually do. So this is the map of the of the village, and I entered here, which is number two. This is number two. This is the big gate that we saw, and I'm making my way to the Petronas Menara Berkembar Petronas, which is number five. That's where I'm going. So I'm I'm here now. So I had my foot somewhere here. I'm going to make my way here. This is the river, so I need to cross the river at some point for Pintanas, Pinta San Saloma. Oh, I might cross here and then make my way to the Twin Towers. That's kind of a plan, so let's go. Oh, and guys, something I noticed here in Malaysia, which I think is really cool, is the license plates of the cars. Look at this. It's like all black with white letters. It looks kind of, yeah, it looks kind of gangster. I don't know, it looks cool. It's like, uh, it matches well, you know, if, imagine if you have a black car, like this one, for example. It's an old black car, black license plate, white letters. Like that's, it looks really cool. Like in Belgium, we have this white license plates with red letters. It looks, this looks ugly, but here, well, actually, I think there are black letters now. I don't know anymore, man. I've been, I haven't been in Belgium for a while now, <laughs> but black background and white letters is the way to go. Okay, off to the bridge. So while filming here in Kuala Lumpur, I ran into Malik and uh, he's a, well, not a local guy, but he lives here. How, how long have you been living here? I've been living here for like 10 years. Oh, he's kind of a local actually, <laughs> yeah. And um, he's going to show me some places because, yeah, the best um, advice you always get from the locals, right? So yeah, where are we going now? <laughs> like, I just want to show you around because this area uh, is like the last Malay enclave. I mean, oh. it's like, uh, this is area is not developed on purpose. Uh, it's it was here before the whole development started. Yes, it was the whole place was used to look like this, but everything start uh, developing. So let me show you around. If you look yeah. this side, yeah, that's modern size. Yeah, so you see all the skyscrapers. Yeah, that's where I'm going actually. Yes, next. that's yeah. where we're gonna go. So I just wanted to show this. If you look around, you will see paddy fields like there. Oh yeah, actually yeah, it's like like a farming village almost surrounded by the urban jungle, right? Yeah. So <laughs> here, like you look, it may look like a it's a like a studio, like it's fake, but it's not, they're actually living here. <laughs> and they're not developing this area on purpose, they want to keep it as original for as long as possible. For this area, because all the local people still live here, especially the Malay people, so the food here is really authentic. It's not being oh, changed. Oh, yeah, so they want to preserve the whole culture, the houses, the food, everything. Everything, so they have a yeah, lot yeah, of yeah. food streets here. So if anybody visiting Malaysia and they want to try the real Malaysian food, this is the place to come. And there's so many food streets. This is all Kampung Baru, right? This is called Kampung Baru, which literally means new village. And is it on the tourist map? Not really, I guess. Not that much. Yeah. It is on the map, but it's not been introduced to the travelers as much as it should be. And also yeah. it was not accessible before yeah. because there was no bridge from the Twin Tower. Yeah, the modern bridge there. That's where we're going to pass through later. Yeah. So since yeah. this, like in 2021, they opened this one. And since then, this area, this area slowly, slowly becoming more and more popular among the tourists and travelers. Yeah, because first they visit the Petronas Towers and now they have like direct access to this village area. Exactly. It's only a few minutes walking, like literally yeah. five minutes we will be there. But before you had to take like a three to four kilometer route. Yeah, but, because uh, there's a river, because there's a river. Yeah, yeah there's a river yeah. and two highways. <laughs> oh, two highways as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The river might not be the problem, it might be the highways actually. <laughs> yeah. So that's why oh. I'm like, okay. 
So that's why whenever I meet somebody oh, and they say they want to try some good delicious foods, I always recommend them the, the Kampung Baru. And this is the area where I love to come again and again because every single time I come, on my way to shoot i see 10 different places i like okay next time i want to try that as yeah well. actually i didn't mention but malik has also a youtube channel what's your name my name my channel is also my name the malik shahmir i will put, the malik put, shahmir yeah I'll, I'll put it on the screen also so you can find him as well he's doing mostly food uh, vlogs here in malaysia only in malaysia or yeah only in malaysia. kuala lumpur yeah, yeah mostly in malaysia but of course i go outside malaysia like pahang and everything yeah 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 so if you're interested in food stuff you can check out his channel as well yeah please do thank you <laughs> Okay, we're off to that bridge now. Yes. And then and to the towers. Yes, and literally we will be there in five minutes. Yeah, it's really not far. <laughs> As you can see, guys, this is how it used to be in Kuala Lumpur village. And where I, where I had my food before was behind that building, which is also village. Uh, but you can see now on this side, it's super modern. Also the bridge, super modern. So yeah, you can definitely see how, how it developed. But I, I like that they preserved the village. That's really nice because um, yeah, you need to preserve the culture, the authentic culture, I think. So now we're going to walk to the, through the Saloma Bridge, right? Yeah, and actually there are no people. Usually it's quite busy. Oh, really? Oh, we're lucky. No people to do like a cinematic shot if you want. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks very um, state of the art. <laughs> yes, and at night it's full of light. Oh, yeah, I saw pictures of yeah. it at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also when you walk, it changes colors. Oh really? So at night only, right? At or, night, yeah. yeah. So when you come at night, you keep walking, it will keep changing colors. Oh, maybe I need to come back at night then. Totally different view and also a lot of people come here, they bring their families because it's became like a, one of the tourist places now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like very, as you said, very modern and also it's very easy to walk so they don't have to, you know, so they park their stuff there, park their cars and they can just walk to them. Yeah, yeah, you can have some authentic food yes. in the village, yes. see the towers all in maybe 20 minutes probably. Yeah. Yeah, they're massive, these towers. How, how tall are them? 420 meters or? Yeah, something like that. I think yeah. 39. Or even higher, yeah. Have you been up there? Yes. Yeah. How uh, does it work? How to get up there? Okay, they have a website, the official website. You can buy the ticket one day in advance. Oh, yeah. Because they mostly sold out. So it's good oh. to go the Petronas Twin Tower. It's like, with time slots or something. Yes. And oh, yeah, also, yeah. they will take you as a tour. Like, they will go with you. They will show you around. I think it's 84th floor is the observation deck. Oh, okay, okay, the, okay. The bridge between is called Sky Bridge. Yeah, the Sky Bridge. And you can yeah. look down through it. Oh, it's glass. It's, it's glass, glass. A glass floor, it's yeah. Like a, yeah, like, wow. a, like a grill. So you can see oh. what's... Yeah, yeah. So... It will, it's around 100 ringgit to go up there. 100 ringgit, like yeah. five dollars. No, no, 20, 20 dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's divided by five, 20 dollars. Yeah, so yeah. you can book it online only, or there are certain websites they sell the tickets as well, last minute as well. But we recommend to buy it from the official website. Yeah, yeah because they're overcharged maybe or something. Yes, or? so you go official website, you know the ticket is done, and usually they sold out for the same day. So okay. it's better to buy it. At so no chance that we're getting up there today. Uh, you never know. You get yeah. there somewhere. Maybe, but have, yeah. I don't know, even know if I want to. I mean, it would be nice to see. Can you go all the way up? like, uh, Or uh, only until the sky bridge? No, no, no. You can go until the 84th floor. They have observation deck. 84th floor. Wow. That must be one of the last like uh, things that you're yeah. stick, sticking out there. And it's only glass from surrounding, so you can see everything. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure if I will do this in this video, but maybe in another video. Yeah. And also, if you want to see a city the skyline, there are a few things we can recommend. Like uh, KL Tower is highly recommended. The KL Tower is the like the radio tower, the right? The radio tower. It's yeah, almost the same height as Twin Tower. It's somewhere there, I think. Somewhere yes. behind. Uh, yeah. Yeah, or where is it? Ah, oh, yeah, you can see like. Yeah. I think that's the one. Yeah. So it's recommended because they have a 360 degree. Yeah, view. view. Yeah, yeah. And they have a revolving restaurant. Oh, I hear about that. So you sit down and it's yeah. turning around all the time, right? So I want to give a great tip for your viewers. If you want to go up, you need to pay 100 ringgit. Yeah. But if you make a confirmed reservation for the restaurant, you can go up there for free. But you need to pay for the food, obviously. But, but yeah. it comes with the food. But it's not, is it like expensive food? No, or like... I think the buffet is around 70 ringgit. 70? So within, let's say, 70 ringgit, okay. you can have a confirmed reservation for the restaurant through their official website. Oh, that makes sense. And yeah. then when you go up there, you don't have to pay the ticket for the entering of the tower. Yeah, that makes more sense actually. Yes, so you have you like a two in one actually. You have good one. food and a good good view. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, so that's the tip, guys. Check it out because usually people they pay for the tower and then they go to the restaurant and they have to pay again. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Like, yeah, so you make official oh. re uh, of, uh, to the website also. Yeah, they are, it's called Atmosphere 360. Okay, go to Atmosphere the website, 360. Yeah, confirm yeah. the reservation. They will ask you information and then you go to the front desk. They will ask you where you're here. They say I'm here for the restaurant. They see the res reservation on your phone. 
Okay. And they give you the entrance ticket to go to the restaurant and you sit down and it revolves. Yeah, so 360 yeah. degrees all the time, all the time. But slowly, I guess. It's turning very slowly. slowly. Very yeah. slowly. But within your whole meal, you can see the whole area. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I might do that. I might do that. I'll see, I'll see. There's so many things to do here. I can't do everything, you know. I need to stay here for a few months if I want to do everything. But I'll see, I'll see. So we're getting close to the towers now. Okay, so now I'm with a local. Now I know how to cross the street. I was wondering like if people respect the traffic rules with the traffic lights and everything here. Yeah, but people, in some countries they do, some countries they don't. Like <laughs> no, here the traffic system is really good. Mm -hmm. So when you're crossing, make sure you're not wrong. You wrong. don't have to be right, but you cannot be wrong. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, how to explain it? Let's say if your signal is not open. Yeah, but red opposite, light. Yeah, but the opposite signal is also not open. Then it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Because you're not wrong. You're not right, but you're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but if the opposite signal is open and you want to walk, you're wrong. You cannot walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you make sure you're not wrong. You don't have to be it's, right. Yeah, all the time. it makes sense now. It makes sense. You don't have to be right, but don't be wrong. Don't be wrong because then they will honk at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you, you put your life in danger, basically. Yes. Because yeah, here in sense. Malaysia, they don't honk. Oh, they don't. Oh, that's a good thing actually. It's, it's not allowed. It's oh really? Yeah, it's like in Belgium. Like yeah, I like that because you can sleep at night. Yes. <laughs> and here and they respect the lane, lines. They keep the distance. Motorbike all is the priority. Pedestrians yeah. are the priorities. So it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So because I have a new local friend here, he's helping me out with the pictures. Like normally you have to pay for these pictures because I see professional photographers waiting there, but he has it. The man there. He's helping me out. <laughs> yeah, from the for the thumbnail as well. Uh, Another move, I'll like this. Like, yes. Excellent. <laughs> okay, I'm coming back now. Okay, so if you want pictures, this is the place to be. Yeah, so now we're going inside the towers basically there's a mall there but ma mainly it's for offices um and petronas is a petronas is a, yes. a company a gas a, and oil company yes and also they have their own formula one car oh i see it here yeah whoa and it's nice and there's nice ac here wow the ac feels good it's perfect it smells like a church here <laughs> i don't know why but look at this car. So that's their own car, right? Yes. And if you go up to the tower, that's the way. Oh yeah, okay. But well, we're not doing that right now. So we're going to the mall and behind the mall. So behind the mall, there's a park, a, a huge park. That's where I will end this video probably. So yeah. Yes, but first, okay. let's grab some drinks because I'm thirsty. <laughs> because if you're some people like running, exercising, they have a huge running track. Oh yeah, I do. I mean, yeah. Yeah, if I would live here, I would go there probably. Yeah. Yes, it's a proper park, proper exercising place. You will see. Hundreds of people every day, every morning. Oh yeah, and you have all the designer brands here, of course, because this is like the main spot of KL, I guess, like the fanciest, fanciest place in KL. We have Gucci here and everything. They have all the brands you can imagine. Yeah, so guys, I'm a bit of a coffee snob. I can't deny it. And uh, Malik here brought me to the mall from the Petronas Towers, and we're going to go for a cappuccino. I'm still doubting if I should go for a hot or an iced one. Hmm. Usually when it's my first coffee of the day, I go for a hot coffee. And if it's like in the afternoon, I would go for an iced coffee. Um, hot coffee it is. Let's see. Hi. Can I order a hot cappuccino, please? Hot cappuccino. That's all? Uh, that's all, yeah. You sure you don't want anything, all right? good, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, he doesn't want it. I asked him. I'm polite. <laughs> I just had like one of the best breakfasts, man. Because I know... Uh, yeah. No, I know the subscribers, they would comment like, oh, you didn't invite your friend for something. <laughs> so I need to mention it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'll just wait here. Or... Have a seat. Oh, have a seat? Oh, okay, thank you. All right, we're having a seat. Toastmaker is called Toastmaker Official. They also have some good breakfast here. But I already have my breakfast. Good. It's good to have AC once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> but once you leave me, 
Okay, my coffee has arrived. Add a little bit of sugar, just how I like it. And then we have our cappuccino. Oh, and the temperature is nice as well. Sometimes you get these cappuccinos super hot, you cannot even drink in the first 10 minutes. But this one, perfect temperature. That's how it's supposed to be. Thank you, bye bye. Or, uh, te what was it, Terry Mekasi? Terry Mekasi. Terry Mekasi. Terry Mekasi. I need to practice my uh, Malaysian a bit. Yes. Yeah. They love if you can speak their language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I try a little bit, but it's, I know everybody speaks English here, so it's not ne really necessary. But it's still nice to to c communicate with local people in their own language. Yes. You can yeah. say, like, Sama Sama is like your home. Sama Sama. Oh, that's easy, I think. So this is the KLCC park. You can see right behind the Petronas Towers, you have a beautiful fountain which lights up at night. Now during the day, people are just hanging out here, taking pictures. Uh, Malik also said they're doing a lot of interviews here because foreigners come here and they ask the foreigners, like, what's your first impressions and stuff? This is like a typical spot for uh, tourists, right? So you can see fountain, fountain, some hangout spots like picnic areas. You find some shade when it's really sunny. And uh, on the back side, there's a running uh, track. track. Yeah, a running track. track. Yes. Yeah, so let's go there now. I'm not going to run right now, but just to have a look. If I would run right now, I would be dripping uh, sweat. And today, Saturdays is going to get really busy because in the oh, evening, yeah. people come from everywhere, sit down with their family, see the light show, eat the food, it's the Yeah, yeah, it makes it's sense. Makes sense. Yeah, I didn't realize at first I was Saturday. Like when you're traveling all the time, you don't pay attention to weekends and stuff. I had no idea. Yeah, so if you want to stay in one of the best hotels in Kuala Lumpur, pick any. All around here. Yeah. I saw like they have the um, Four Seasons, like uh, Ritz Carlton, uh, all the big hotel chains are here. Yeah. So a thousand ringgit a night and you're golden. Thousand ringgit, that's like uh, $200. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty high, high end, I would say. Uh, there's like a swimming pool there. For the kids and the families looks cool though they have like a waterfall and everything and here this is not for swimming right it's just a decoration yes yeah 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 oh i could jump in it now it's pretty hot yeah, now it's very shallow so yeah it's very sh i'm not going to jump from here <laughs> yeah that would be a stupid idea they have like a, a whale also there and some dolphins nice artwork So this is the running track here and you can feel it's a bit rubbery, which is good when you're running. It's good for the knees and everything and for the joints. Well, it's a nice place to hang out away from the, the traffic and just a hangout spot. We have some nice trees here as well. So as you can see guys, there's lots of stuff to do around here. Water cascades, rest area, jogging track, toilets, sculptures, everything. And that's the, that's the swimming pool right there. I only see like kids and families there. So um, yeah, and you need to wear your clothes. It's not uh, in bikini or anything. You need to wear full clothes here. You can see. Well, it would feel nice to go in there and have uh, some refreshment actually. But I think I'll get my refreshment later in the hotel. Um, I might give you even a hotel tour. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah! <laughs> I should start beating you. <laughs> okay, guys, that was not real. Just for a joke. It was his idea. <laughs> okay. It looks good. It looks good. How much is it? 10 ringgit? Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll get one. I'll get one. Sure. Where, where, from where do you do it? Yeah. 10 ringgit? Huh? Yeah. Where do you do it? Here? Yeah. From where, where should I stand? Here? Not there, there. Uh, on this, on oh, the same spot. Ah. Okay, I'll, I'll do one. I'll do one. Yeah. What's your name? Danny. Danny. Yes. Oh, I like your headphones also. <laughs> oh no, so a ventilator fan. Yeah, fan. Fun, yes. Oh, it has like a portable <laughs> fan. Is it good? Yeah. Can I try? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a portable fan. Is it on? Yeah. This one, one only. I try. Like, oh, a portable fan. Oh yeah, it feels nice. It feels nice. Oh yeah, I need that. I need that. <laughs> oh yeah 
Yes. Danny Ross, Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny. Yeah, Danny is going to take a picture. I see many guys. Can I see your setup? Can I see? So he has two lights here uh, with the iPhone, uh, which the lights are because otherwise uh, the background is too yeah, bright and your yeah. face is dark, right? Yeah. Uh, it all makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, I'll get a quick picture. <laughs> well, Maliko also already took a picture, but he has the light setup, you know. He's doing this every day. How many pictures a day do you take? Uh, no, no, I mean like every day from different people. Uh, 100. 100? Oh! So you're rich then? One, one <laughs> oh, where? We're here? Okay. <laughs> Did you try this already, the fan? Sorry? The fan, yeah. the portable fan? It's actually no, nice. No. It feels like a cool breeze in my beard. Yes, because they have to be in the sun all day. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They stay out all day. Wait, I'll give it to you back. Here, here. Your, uh, your fan, your fan. Thank you. Okay, where? In this spot here? Okay. I'll do it. Okay, my sweat a little bit, dry it. Ah, see if my hair is good, my beard. Yeah, in the middle. But, uh... uh another one? Should I go together with her? Together with her? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, you see, everybody has the same setup they do with the lights and everything. You use the lights all day long? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can see. Yeah, that's how it looks. Yeah, more bright. Oh, it looks really good actually. Uh, how do you send it to me then? Yeah, but I'm there. What? Send to you. I'm yeah, WhatsApp or? WhatsApp is WhatsApp, yeah, okay. Or email or whatever. Yeah. Okay, I'm waiting. Now there's uh, like a whole queue here for pictures. Yeah, so many people here, no? Huh? Huh? your camera. What? Video. Okay. Huh? What? What? You off the video, you off. Yeah, the two towers, is it bright enough, sharp? Uh, yeah, maybe one more, one more to be sure. Yeah. One more to be sure. Yeah, this guy was nagging that I was filming, I don't know why. <laughs> He's a joker, a joker. Yeah, it's like a whole queue here, everybody's taking pictures. Same here. Yeah, there's so many camera guys here. They're all with their big setup, full of lights and stuff. What phone is it? Yeah. Position. Position. Yeah. <laughs> this one has a software. Uh, I already put software in the Apple Store. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sit down. Where? Yeah. How? Here. Oh, like a slap squad. Slap squad. Okay. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah, you. Like this? One foot here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. He's giving me good instructions here. Sweating though, sweating. I give you Yeah, can I see? Okay, uh, the other one, the other one? Uh, I think this is better, this is better. Uh, yeah, wow, I have so long, long legs, you know. <laughs> uh, wait, let me see. Ah, this one, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only, yeah? Yeah, it's one, two, uh, what, five, what was ten ring? Ten ring. just for one picture, no? Yeah. Okay, yeah, just one is okay, one is okay. One only. Yeah, yeah one is okay, yeah. Open your airdrop. No, 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 I don't have airdrop, I don't have airdrop. I have uh, Android, Android. Oh, yeah, he wants to airdrop it to me, but I don't have iPhone. Oh, wait, wait, how are we gonna transfer this? You can check my airdrop. Because Stay I wanted the high quality. Yeah. Yeah. Are you doing? Uh, are you yeah, dropping let's to see, that? Let's see, uh, Malik. Oh uh, yeah. Because if you uh, send uh, over WhatsApp, WhatsApp is not good, yeah. no, the quality goes down. Instagram as well. Okay. Yeah, you just one is okay. Just wanna try. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Thank okay. you, Danny. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Okay. Okay. Good. Good business today. Okay. All right. So um, after our little stroll in the park at the Petronas Towers, uh, I'm saying goodbye to Malik here. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, lovely to meet you as well, brother. Yeah, check out his videos as well. We might do a video together probably. In one of the following videos, we might go and have some food around here. But uh, for now, I'm saying goodbye. Yeah, and uh, I'll make my way to the hotel now. See you. Okay. So we're saying goodbye to the Petronas Tower. You can see one there. The other one is a bit hidden behind this building. But uh, a not so fun fact, on the 12th September of 2001, there was a bomb alert here in the Twin Towers and thousands of people were evacuated. And of course, we all know what happened on the 11th of September in New York City. Uh, the Twin Towers were destroyed. 
So the day after that, there was a bomb alert here as well, but luckily nobody got hurt, everybody's okay. Yeah, not so fun fact. Just so you know, just so you know. So I'm making my way back to my hotel, passing through Kampung Baru again, and I'm super, super, super thirsty. So I'm on the hunt for some juice, and I think I found it here. Hi, Hi. This, uh, you sell juice? Hi. Oh. oh, it's this person here, okay. It seems a bit hard to find the sellers here. Everybody's gone. <laughs> I've been to like three food stalls already and nobody's showing up. Like, where do I order? Maybe it's because it's noon now, it's there on a break or something. But it seems very hard to find a salesperson. <laughs> like literally, it's the third food stall that I try and nobody's showing up. I think they have some juicy fruit here, but nobody's here to sell it. Where are they? Nobody? Really? I think they're on a lunch break or something. Really? Are you selling? Ah, oh, you're selling? Yes. Oh, okay, what's the best juice you have? Uh, Can you do something without pineapple? No pineapple. Oh, dragon this one? Fruit. Dragon fruit mixed with? Yes. Mix, mix or only dragon fruit? Okay, I'll, I'll get one. Okay. Is with ice also or? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, this one? Uh, one dragon fruit with huh? apple and orange also. Okay, it's good. Three three fruits together? Mix. Mix? One. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've been to other food stall, nobody shows up. Maybe it's because it's lunchtime or something. Everybody's gone. <laughs> we'll have dragon fruit, apple and orange. And they're tiny apples, little ones. I'm not really a pineapple guy, so I'm skipping that. So we're going for a mix of three. I think it's the first time I try dragon fruit actually. Can I try? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I never tried dragon fruit. Mm. It's not super sweet, but it's a bit of jelly-like. Mm, that's kind of good. Good, good. Mm. Mix the uh, less. Uh, yeah, you do normal, normal. I don't know what normal is, but two spoons, okay, three spoons, four spoons. Okay, four spoons of sugar, some water, and some ice. And wow, that will be good. Oh yeah. Oh. Especially that ice. That's what I'm looking forward to. Turn on the electricity, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, look at the color also, pink color. That's because of the dragon fruit. Wow. Oh, especially that eyes, that's what I'm looking forward to. I really need this. How much is it? Ten. Ten. So ten ringgit. Let me see what I have. I have a tenner here. Oh, you want some more apple? No, oh, okay. I'm gonna top it off with some apple. Mm. That's nice. That's nice. What's that? This. Oh, you can carry it. <laughs> I never saw that you can carry it like that. Okay. Thank you, Thank you very much. Okay. <coughs> What's your name? Essan. Essan. Okay, I'm Tim. Nice to meet you. Okay, look at my uh, little carry bag here. Pink juice. Let's give it a try. So we have a mix of dragon fruit, apple, orange, and some pieces of apple as well. Oh yeah. Oh, it's good. Good. Ah, super refreshing. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I think this guy was a bit shy on camera. Or a bit tired or something. Just like me, actually. I'm also a bit tired.
Oh. Oh, that feels good. So we're back here in Kampung Baru and Malik said that this place is not really discovered yet by the tourists. I think it's getting discovered because little by little the foreigners are trickling in here. You see them coming? Yeah, my sweat is dripping. But I think in a few years probably this will be booming because it's like a local food spot. Okay guys, here with my juice, I'm saying goodbye. I want to thank you all for watching. There are plenty of more videos coming from Malaysia. I'm going all over Malaysia for the next weeks. So make sure to check out those videos as well. And uh, stay tuned. See you in the next one. And if you're still watching, you already know, you're a legend. Legend.